Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video we have Razor X's most recent 1v1 map that he's been using in his clips lately. This map is really simple and easy to make, so if you are new here and you find this video useful, definitely hit the like button, and if you're feeling nice, hit the subscribe button. Okay guys, so first things first, you want to create a new island. Go to Kevin's floating island and click confirm. Before we start the rest of the video guys, it's really important to make sure you start with these settings. So go into my island, settings, scroll down to find, building can destroy environment, turn it to no, and environment damage to off. Once you spawn in, just go to the main island in the middle. Go to devices, find a hover platform and just throw it down. Once that's down, you just want to delete everything else on the map. Once that's completed, get your wall out and just go all the way down. Keep going down until you can't anymore. So from the bottom you want to go two walls up, place a floor, and you want to go back up here. And just place it on the floor there. So once we've got this platform, all you want to do is quickly just build up and just do that so you can throw items onto it. So you want to click on cube gallery large. Throw this down. So you just want to come into the left corner of here, you can see with the white top. And just get the black one there. Turn on grid snap 2. And just make it too wide in free length so I believe the floor is Paradise Palms Gallery so after you've thrown that down you want to go into the corner and just find this wooden floor here the slightly darker version take that and just place it on top of the cubes so next part is the stairs and this is Castle Gallery B So you just want to grab these stairs here, take them, place it down in the middle like that. Okay so the final part is a neon light around the middle, so you just want to find ring gallery A. You want to go to the end and grab this neon light here. So you want to make sure your rotation is on roll, click R1 to make it flat and get that little circle in the middle there just like that so making this just now I've realised the stairs are the wrong way so all you want to do is just get it rotate it like that and then quickly do that and delete these two there we go now they're facing the right way and just adjust this just like that Make sure it's all in the middle. See it's slightly off. There we go. So first of all, you want to get the player spawn. Head over to the corner. Place one there. Place one there. So customize. Make sure visible during games is turned to no. This is so it doesn't show up whilst you're playing a game. Just like that. Head back to the devices. Grab a launch pad. And place it down in the corner there. Last step, you just want to find the class designer here in the top left corner. Throw this down in the remaining corner there of the platform. Head to weapons, find the blue AR and the blue pump, consumables and the grapple gun there. These are the exact same weapons that Razor X uses in his map, so I'm going to keep it the same. Head over to play and just drop these down so they go in just like that. Click customize. Make sure visible during game set to no. I think it already stays like that. Class identify, you want to make sure it's one. You want to scroll down to instant reload. Turn it to on. Infinite ammo, turn it to on. And click accept. Last step guys, you just want to go into my island. Go into game. Default class identifier, turn it to one. 
Razor X does use two islands, but we've only got one here. If you want to make it two, bring out the phone and hold down right on your D-pad to select everything. Once everything's selected, you just want to click R2, make sure it's in line. You want to go over 20 starting from here, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Once you've got to 20, place it down. So for some reason guys, when we place it down, we do lose some of it. But that's no problem, we just want to get another hover island. Take that. Place it inside one of the blocks. Go over here and just copy and paste the floor. Once you've done this, that is the map completed. Now I think Razor X does have the time of day on random. But in his most recent video, it was set to 10pm. In my opinion, I do prefer 10 p.m. as it looks really aesthetically pleasing. But you can have it to whatever time of day you want. As you can see, we spawn in. We have our guns already. So you can get straight into the 1v1. And it's just the same on the other side, as you can see. So guys, once you finish the map, we just want to add one last thing, and that's a barrier. So this is just a quick edit to say my mic audio cut out at this point, but the rest of the video pretty much explains itself. If you've made it this far, I appreciate you for watching. I hope it really helps you out. If it does, drop a like on the video, and if you're new here, definitely subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Smokers chronic, run my coin just like I'm Sonic from the hood. I speak Ebonics, that in economics. Shorty, we can link like Zelda. That broke, then you a failure. Stack your money up like Tetris. I don't know what else to tell.